All right, so I'm going to show you how the braking system works on the Wild Country Revo. Um, so once you open it up, load the rope through all the way around, back out. Clip it through a carabiner. The wheel on here is going to spin freely in either direction. And you can use these teeth, these clutches, to brake like a regular ATC. The assisted or auto, whatever you want to call it, braking system works like this. Once this wheel is spinning at a certain speed, there's this metal wing. You can see a little bit through the gap right there. That is uh, has some mass to it. So once it reaches a certain speed, it's going to override the spring that's holding it in and hit one of the tails on these clutches and actually push these clutches up. So if it's spinning in this direction, the rope is coming out from the left side, then it's going to hit this right clutch and the tail is going to extend down from the clutch and hit one of the protrusions in the wheel. You can see right there. There's three different protrusions on each side, which I'm guessing as backups if because this is aluminum and the tail is steel. If one of these aluminum protrusions breaks, there's two more still backing it up. And once this is uh, locked and the wheel can no longer spin this way, there's also a little metal wire that comes down when you push it up. This little metal, metal wire isn't to actually stop the rope. It's so if you spin the wheel in the opposite direction, pull rope out from this end, you can actually disengage the lock by pushing this wire back up. And that's how the Wild Country Revo braking system works.